All right, so we have a video demo here of the new One Endo file from Optura Spartan. It's designed by Dr. John McSpadden, a real guru in endodontics, and he has his own company, Nano Endo, and I think it's being distributed by Optura Spartan. So I've got the first pack here, kind of the sample pack they sent me, because the Optura people are really cool. It's a good company. They sent me this file, I looked up the videos John McSpadden made, it's an interesting file design. They're going by, um, you know, two tapers here, 04 and 06 in the same file, in the hopes that it's more efficient without locking you in, like without the taper lock or the pulling in effect that uh, some files have um, characteristically. It comes in different sizes, as typical rotary file. It looks sharp, it looks kind of intimidating a little bit. Uh, but the cross section again you see there the semicircular cross sections of different uh, taper and you could see uh, looks like a relatively neutral uh, rake angle I don't know exactly the number of the rake angle and it's got this modified tip a lot of files now are marketing booster tips or fancy tips I don't know exactly um, the reasoning other than staying centered so it looks like it's supposed to be more active but we're gonna try it out and uh, see what it does in real time. So, of course, as always, throw away the tip card and take out the contents of the bag, throw that away. And these little plastic blocks, uh, they get you, the manufacturers, but they're really easy. They're not really, they're already pre-flared and a 10 file goes all the way. So 90% of the canal shaping difficulty is done with already so the rotary is really just the final shape that they're really trying to show you from these little plastic blocks so um, yeah they don't really tell you much until you start shaping on a regular tooth so we take a rotary handpiece set it at 550 rpms and take out the one endo pack here open it you always want to sterilize rotary files out of the pack um, because they are not sterile so you don't use them straight into the straight to the patient here as you can see here it's kind of what it looks like I'm not a fan of this extra handle length that's why I like the the vortex and the k3 and the, the you know edge endo where the that extra little shank there is not showing so for smaller mouth openings I can get in and this is definitely not the heat treated version of the rotary so you can see here it's pretty stiff and um, so it's difficult to compare with the newer files and the newer metals that are out there and uh, I'm gonna step on it and see okay so at 550 you can see here without any lubricant at all, I just want to go to run dry. Let me see if I can get it to focus here. It goes pretty smoothly into canals, not even any resistance at all, essentially, because this, these blocks are really shaped already. You can even see space alongside of it so it goes really efficiently, really smoothly. You can kind of see the debris along the flutes there. Quite a bit of debris. So it catches it pretty well. And um, a very active cutting, very sharp. It has the feel of a headstrom file almost, if anything. So that was a 2504. Almost went in without any resistance at all. And if we do it again with a 2506, it's locked in. I'm going to pull that out here. 
I'm gonna go back on reverse. So this is this is locked in. I have my 2506 locked into the. So I'm gonna reverse out. I'm gonna try that again. See if it locks me in again. Yep, locks me in again. Again, locks in. So the 06 may not be able. to uh, negotiate this gentle curve. So initial early review is that these files are definitely stiffer, a little more aggressive. I need to see how they handle in the tooth. Yes, my nails are awful, but uh, they're pretty stiff. They get locked in uh, at the RPMs recommended. Um, I don't know how the 06s are gonna perform. They're really stiff. You can't compare them to the heat treated uh, alloys because um, these are, they look like they're not heat treated, so it might be the um, older style metal. So that's my early assessment.